All right, now I'm starting the high-quality recording. For the high-quality recording, guys, I just uh, moved the camera around a tiny bit, and I shrunk the head and eyes. So I can start working on the actual body itself. <laughs> ortho out. I'm done with ortho. Right now. There we go. That's much smoother and not quite as fast and annoying. Right here is going to be at the base is going to be forming the actual, uh, you know, upper section of the shoulder and such. And then we're going to extend this all the way down. And, you know, that extends, you know, just beyond the actual head itself, so we'll do that. And, ooh, that shows we want a little too far there. And ortho, so we'll take it that back out. Now that we know we got it portioned it well. And the next thing we need to do is pull drag it down. And uh, in order to do that we're going to uh, first duplicate the head because the body's about two and a half that of the head, so it's I'm gonna grab that there. Duplicate and pull over. Whoa! Whoops. Tab. Z. Over here. Mirror. Apply to you. Oh, I grabbed the, did the wrong thing again. Like I said, I've been really off, so... I need to separate that with P. Then I select it, hit the mirror. I got this here. gonna look really really off as you can tell just from this <laughs> but it's the best way to get it done move that off to the side grab here back to edit mode grab there oh yeah that's right always turns off the display every single time here we're going to extrude once pull down a little these areas here is going to start forming the arms. The upper area of the chest, you could say, in certain ways. Now this one you can technically drag all the way down to here. Obviously it looks all wonky and off in a lot of ways. We'll work on that and fix it up, obviously. And one thing is we're going to increase the general depth of it. The size Y. It would help if I grabbed it all, but now wouldn't it? That includes down here. Alright. That is uh pulled out. It looks just like some creepy thing coming out to get ya, doesn't it? I'm gonna move that up just slightly. We're going to add a loop cut right here. This makes it easier when you're starting to form out, say, the arms and such. I think I'm going to uh, move in on the uh, X some as well because it looks like, again, once I extruded it, it'll push it out a little farther than I wanted it as well. Actually, I, I want to leave that there. I'm going to grab that and pull up slightly here. Grab these four here. Smaller a bit. Pull up. We're going to modify how these edges are to make it smoother later on, but currently we'll leave this as so. In fact, W, loop tools. If you do not have loop tools enabled, make sure you enable it in the file. Under user preferences, add ons, 
type in loop and you'll see mesh loop tools you turn on and tell, tell it to save the user settings. This is going to become very important as you modify later on in here. Let's see if I circle it. No, not here. That's when you first extrude out. You'll use it. Pull it out and you can see it still looks kind of really funky. So tool it. We're gonna rotate this on the x-axis. Form straight out. <sighs> Looking at it again, it still looks way too far out. C or Z. Select the faces. Pull it again a little more. Z. Obviously this stuff, the little minute things I'm doing is personal preference. If you need to do it a different way for your character, do it your way for the way you want your character. It doesn't matter, it's just the way I'm doing it for, well, mine. Currently. Things might massively change, obviously. Uh, the major things like formations and things, obviously I wait for the next stream to show. But, this is just giving the basic upper body and getting the arms out. Hopefully doing them the right length the first time. I may not know right away, but we'll deal with that later. Do it again to pull out. S for size. Smaller. If you want to get out a loop cut here or that, you can select the edge here, pull it back, and add another loop cut there. But we're going to add it here in general. And I'm going to select this and make it smaller. Alright, select this. Shoot out a little bit. That's where the uh, shoulder you could say is a shoulder. <laughs> Elbow would be around here. Then extrude out. Whoa. On X one more time. And make a bit smaller. Again, loop cut here. This one would be bigger while you select this and make that smaller. You may need to adjust these R exactly so that they're not so harsh on each other. Kind of like here, they are a little harsh, and you're going to have to move it around more. We're going to circle that. Obviously, underneath the armpit, it's not going to look like that. Not how an armpit looks, so that's modified as well. Doing that and that. The beginning of the upper body is kind of done, you could say. out the small formations of the back um here's going to get pushed in honestly like so and i'm personally going to add a loop cut here and i'm going to extrude here to start forming out the uh waist and such, so I'm probably going to have to push that up a little bit. I was working on um, the uh, waist pelvic area and butt a little while ago. If you're on Gaming Tribe or some of the other social outlets, you would have seen that I was working on I posted a couple pics on it. out like so and that partially has to go in this is going to have to come down this area here is going to be forming the chest region you could say okay 
Where am I at? 22 minutes live, so that means about 10 minutes actually streaming. I got about another 10 minutes before I head on out, and this is where it's going to become kind of ugly. I have a couple choices here to do. One was to take this and delete said <laughs> not like that. I can select the faces and I can delete and separate the head from the body for what I'm going to be doing. Like I'll show you here, I'm going to do a full save. Hit Z. Select I didn't even have to select the save, just select that. Delete faces. That separates there. <laughs> the bottom of the tongue there. And I'm going to have to add two loop cuts here. The reason for said loop cuts is while you're forming the chest, you could say. So yes, X, zero, so they're smoothed together and would be pulled in exactly together. Pull that out, pull that out. Push or push this in. It's because, again, as you see here, forming the chest, I'm going to have to grab these, this section here, and delete those. But, I don't want to do that. So, file. It revert, does it go all the way back? Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> the other choice is, is to leave the head attached, do this. Then I'm going to have to go through and modify up the whole head again in a lot of ways. Now the reason I would have to do it this way, then modify up the head, is if I do it the other way and I reattach, face the head together with the body, it would come out with some really strange and ugly uh, things when uh, I end up sculpting. That's from my own personal experience. It may be different for others, but I may mess with this while I uh, am off stream. Maybe, all right, I'm going to do a test here. No, it won't work because it does that if I extrude, see? <laughs> so that kind of leaves me in a rock and a hard place. I'm thinking on it. Okay. So I'll show the whole thing here. I delete the faces. I got to do this to put it together. That means I'm going to have to say select here. Oh, I'm going to do all three. I'm going to do all three. To face it back together. You can see how the... Uh, edges are going to get a bit funky throughout the whole thing. See? You get that weird edge line around here. I mean, if you do stuff with 3D rendering and if that is actually perfectly fine that you, you think about it being done like this, then uh, let me know. But of course, for me, I wouldn't be thinking about doing it like that if I hit apply, hit apply, and then I hit that. See? See how it looks? No bueno. No bueno at all. That's just that's just ugly. That is just ugly. Revert. <laughs> but if I do it like so at least, and I hit tab, and I hit apply, and hit apply, and you look at it. See? It's all smooth. All smooth together. No funky, jagged faces forming, or not faces, edges forming down together. Let's revert back again. So, I'm probably going to be doing it like this. But until I fully have to get to that, I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right now I'm going to grab here. I'm going to Screwed down, size X, and pull out, yeah, 
And that's... As far as I think it's going to really go for... Today. Um, I need to grab here and here because I need to make sure again I just get the proper loop cuts set up. So, uh, upper body for the first one I think is done for today. Yeah, I'm gonna have to relabel this as upper upper shoulder, arms, upper body, zero one because they're gonna go into zero two and then, uh, Zero three. Maybe just zero two. All right, I'm gonna add these loop cuts now. No, I won't. I might do uh, at least the formation. Maybe next uh, video I'll do the formation of the uh, hips. Yeah, I think I'll do the formation of the uh, hips first. Then after I get the base hips first and the upper thighs done on the character, I will uh, do the uh, add the edge loop cuts because if I start adding them now, it's gonna kind of throw it all off for that formation as well. I'm going to have to deal with it after the fact, you could say, but. It's kind of a pain, it's a catch-22 there, you know, I'm kind of uh, look, working with the limited mesh with the uh, subdivision modifiers. I move off to the wrong thing when I was already on there, you know, right there, the uh, subdivision surface modifiers. So I'm trying to make a small, as small a mesh as possible and uh, keep it as is. What I could do maybe? This is all speculation stuff at this point. I can go here, do that. And then I could bring the subdivision down to two. Not make it as harsh on the character as it is. It's on three now. Two. I can get rid of the edge loops here, because if I select the whole mesh and I tell it to subdivide once, this is gonna mess with the entire thing. Okay. So, that's not what we want. Let's get it back like that. Alright, I'm going to leave those there. <laughs> just the funny thing is I can tell it to just dissolve the... Whoa, not what I wanted at all. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to save this here. I'm going to start doing testing for modifying and such. Um, let's make sure the normals are facing the right way. I'm pretty sure they all are. should be good. If I hit 5 for perspective, you can see. It's going. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm just procrastinating at the end of the stream while I babble on my general thoughts on what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry about that, but uh, kind of I got to figure out a couple things for the next stream. Oh, I actually dropped frames, it says. Why, why is it dropping frames? Odd. Alright, I'm done for now. Um, actually, that's funny, it's not rendered here. <laughs> That looks creepy! That looks creepy, doesn't it? It's just like this floaty half-body that's just sitting there. <laughs> revert! Revert! <laughs> Alright. Thanks for coming and watching the stream. Uh, you know, this didn't have too much accomplished other than just base, sh you know, pulling out the base shoulders, getting the arms out, and then the base upper body. I guess, you know, exactly it's accomplished what was supposed to be accomplished because, you know, obviously I did the upper body, shoulder, and arms. <laughs> but, uh, next, uh, next one will be the, uh, waist and, uh, upper legs, and then we're going to move on to, uh, upper body part two, where I start filling out more, you could say. I might do a little modification in general. I might add a loop cut here. And, uh, just in general, uh, 
form her out as I would want her to be, you could say. I can size Y, size... Actually, I'm gonna have to actually add two. It's really kind of crazy. I'm gonna have to add two loop cards. I gotta add this one. Then I gotta add the one going here, which will pull in slightly, and then I'm gonna have to modify whatever else. Then, again, speculation stuff on what I'm gonna do. But that'll be just small side things, and I'll give you an update, of course, on specific changes. Um, thanks for coming and watching. If you enjoyed the video and uh, aren't subscribed, please hit that uh, follow, subs follow button and... Uh, Hit that subscribe button on YouTube, and if this is post on YouTube, uh, hit the like button if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or things that I can improve on, because again, still partially learning here myself. And I hope you come back for more.